Sometimes in life we have to start over. What does it mean to start over? Because <laughs> in my mind, starting over again would mean deleting everything that happened before. Recollecting it, I guess, for sure. And holding on to the lessons you learned, but letting go of the experiences. This isn't, this isn't working. Starting over, take two, because <laughs> the first time didn't go very well. Um, how can we start over? It, how can we? In Lord of the Rings, Frodo says something to this. How can you leave? It's not coming. <laughs> it's like that moment when you know what you're supposed to do. You know you're supposed to like step forward and start again. But for some reason, you just can't at this exact moment. And, and, and you're on a time crunch. You're in like a time crunch. If you don't do it by a certain time, then the opportunity's gone. So it's like, how do you choose to start a new life? How do you choose to begin again? Like, my whole life has been about experience. And taking my experiences that I've learned and applying them to what I'm doing or what I'm learning now. And right now, it feels like I have to just let go of all of it and imagine that I've never been taught before that I have no idea what's going on. But no, I really have, have a little bit of... Giving control to someone else is the hardest thing I think that anyone can do. Anything from trusting someone to not break your heart giving someone control of how much time they get to see you, of when they get to see you. And in my mind, I kind of always thought that I was half in control and then life was half in control, that it was like a balanced thing. And at this particular moment in starting over and having all of my friends be somewhere else, all my family be somewhere else, all my students and all the parents of those students and all my coworkers, people that know me, without getting that support, it is so hard to stand up. And for some reason, there's something that feels right about not having it to where it kind of puts me back into a shell, like where I'm not being so myself all the time. Um, and that scares me. I made a, my very first video, I was talking about the we, you, I, us, and how that all, I think about that being me. And it's not true. It's not true. Like, no, they're individual people. There might be a message there for you that you can see, like perspective is everything. So if you're looking for a message or a lesson from every, every person you meet, you're going to find them. But they're their own people. They have their own thoughts. They have their own feelings. They have their own way of seeing things. And sometimes there is absolutely nothing we can do about how they perceive us. I think that's one of the reasons why I've tried to be so open with other people and giving people basically blind trust is because I do not know their intentions. I don't know them. And because I don't know them, I do not want to assume the negative first. Oh, they must have meant this, and then start picking at it and being irritated. That I, that's not an energy that I want to bring. I want to bring open trust. And you haven't, I, I genuinely believe that people are good. And because I believe people are good, I give them trust. And it's when people that have the opposite viewpoint of me that think, People are bad. Don't trust them until they've proven themselves. 
<laughs> those people, I don't even know how to handle it. Like being mistrusted from the beginning. What's this take for? Point is, if you want to start over, you better buckle up and remind yourself that when you start over, everything's gonna change. Everything. When you sleep, what you eat, where your time is spent, your daily activities. I could bore you and go on and on and on, but I'll be honest, it's all of it. And I am at breaking point. Um, I have been resisting and resisting and resisting change. And my third eye, you see this big pimple? that just happens to be like, right? Like, well, it's a little lower. Well, that means my eyes looking down. My third eye right now is blocked. Intuition, don't know where it is. It tends to, seems to be wrong a lot, which is not something I'm used to. I'm used to it being like, you know, pretty spot on. Uh, I'm so egotistical. Um, there's a lot about myself I don't like. And I watched a video yesterday. I feel like it was Matthew McConaughey. And he was talking some inspirational speech and said, if you want to know who you are, define who you are not. And it bothered me for a minute because it seemed negative, like focusing on the bad things, the things you don't like, bad. Um, maybe uh, that's true. <laughs> Wow, I'm like, my eye is twitching. Like, it's twitching. Um, my third eye. Open. Open your third eye. <laughs> so there's my message, guys. So, um, if you want to start over, let it all go. All of it. I had thoughts of getting rid of my plants and cats. It's so intense right now. Let's not jump to the extremes and go off the boat, right? <laughs> Let's just change things that have to change. But all of it. Um, 